Hi, this is Brandy Murray. Welcome to tutorial number two brought to you by Scrap Girls for their sixth anniversary celebration. What we're going to learn today is a different way of using styles by actually overlaying them on top of existing products that we have, such as papers or embellishments. For this particular um, tutorial, I'm using a paper from the Nuptials collection. Now, just so you know, all the materials that I use in these tutorials can be found in that dailies newsletter and links below. So if you're not one to actually keep uh, your newsletters and you're interested in, in achieving some of the same looks, just make sure you write those, those down. Okay, so what we're going to do here is start by adding a color, just a solid color on top. And I'm going to be using a red. And I'm going to use one of Amanda's bokeh styles, this one beautiful. Now, styles are different. Um, when you're using one on top of a paper, you're going to want to make sure that you use something that is seamless, which means that you cannot see any of the seams in the pattern. Uh, some styles are seamless, some that are not. Those that are not are great for embellishments and other smaller objects. For, but for a paper, you really want to make sure you have something that's seamless like this one. So before we can overlay it, we actually need to turn it into a smart object or uh, simplify the layer if you're using Photoshop Elements. And I simply do this by selecting this particular layer, right clicking, and for me I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Again, if you're using Photoshop Elements, you want, you're going to want to uh, simplify that layer so that it now um, takes away the style itself to it and actually becomes one solid piece. Now it's ready to actually use a blending mode on. So I'm going to use it in Overlay and you can see I get a nice lighting effect on top of the roses. Um, for me this might be a little bright so I'm just going to add a quick adjustment layer to it by choosing hue saturation and taking my saturation down just a little bit. But if you like color, go for it. Here's another paper which we're going to do something very similar to. I'm going to actually use a yellow color add it on top and again I'm going to use one of Amanda's Boca styles to get this pretty peach color. Again we're going to do the same thing. We're going to actually convert it to a smart object if you're using Photoshop or simplify the layer if you're using a, um, Photoshop Elements to get that to a solid paper and I'm going to choose the overlay blending mode. Now you can see that this lighting effect completely changes the way the paper looks and gives it a kind of nice evening effect which you know could be good for wedding receptions or any party celebrations that you have going on. Now you can also use these or this particular technique with embellishments. Now with embellishments they have a shape so you're going to want to actually duplicate the layer. So I'm going to duplicate this leaf layer and I had a a drop shadow on the bottom so I'm going to turn it off on the top because you don't want two drop shadows on it because that would give it kind of a really dark look. For this one let's try let's see a uh, damask pattern from Amanda from her paper damask. Again her particular style has another drop shadow on it so I'm going to turn that off uh, just so again so I don't have two and we're going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to convert mine to a smart object. You may want to simplify yours and then uh, change the blending mode. And sometimes I just like to flip through these because you you could be amazed at some beautiful effects that you can get by just playing around. Now I've changed this one. This is soft light at 100%. And you can see how the pattern overlays itself on top of the, the leaves and how beautiful it looks. And you can try different ones. Uh, this particular one is using a glitter from the Ragamuffin collection. On top you can still see the leaf vi um, vining, um, the leaf pattern coming through the glitter for something kind of flashy. Here's another uh, glitter from the Ragamuffin collection and it's using a lighten uh, blending mode. So you just get a little bit of a sparkle. And here's another look using Dirty Press Distress uh, overlaid using the multiply blending mode. So there's so many options that you can do just by playing around. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and maybe found a different way to use your styles. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for day three. Have a good day. Bye-bye.